Okay, this is really heavy. I'm going to put this down now. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Hannah and welcome to my channel. So today for my very first video, I'm going to be showing you the top 10 books that I'd like to get to this year in 2016. So the books I have here have a pretty wide variety. They also don't include any new releases from this year or any books that I've yet to order from Book Outlet or Amazon or anything like that. So let's just jump right in. The first book I'm going to be showing you today is A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Um, this book is the first book for the Song of Ice and Fire series. A lot of you may have heard of it because of the TV show A Game of Thrones. Um, I have never actually watched the show, but I'm really, really excited to read this book. I started it last year and got about halfway through it, but some people were kind of set on spoiling it for me, so I decided to put it aside for a little while and read something else. And now I feel like it's the perfect time to pick this back up and hopefully continue on with the series. Um, if you don't know what this is about, it's a very, very high fantasy type of series. There's a lot of different characters and families and a lot of different stories all kind of intertwined into one, which I think gives it a very, very complex kind of storyline. So it's kind of why I'm excited to read that. And the next book I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to definitely get a lot of hate for because I never read this book as a child and I know, I know, I've been missing out for years. I can say nothing else about this. <laughs> No, but this is the first book of the Percy Jackson series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, by Rick Riordan. Um, I never read this book as a kid. I'm not really sure why. I guess I just never got around to it. And one of my really, really close friends has been pressuring me for the past couple of years to pick it up. So I decided to finally give it a shot. I do have the entire series. So hopefully I'll fly through this this year because, I mean, it is a children's book. And I do know there are two series, this and um, The Heroes of Olympus. So hopefully I'm able to get through both series this year because I really, really want to find out what I've been missing out on for the past few years. And the next book is Alias Hook by Lisa Jensen. So not only does this book have a beautiful cover, but I'm very, very intrigued by the premise as well. This is supposed to be a story from the perspective of Captain Hook, but it's kind of flipped because in this book he is actually considered the hero and Peter Pan is considered the villain. And I think that's really, really interesting because you don't really get to see that a lot where you see where the villain could actually be the one that's being wronged versus being the evil one in the situation. And another reason I really want to read this is because Once Upon a Time. Who am I kidding? I've never been able to look at Captain Hook the same way since that show. <laughs> so... Hopefully I'll be able to get around to this pretty soon because I am Team Hook all the way. Captain Swan for life, definitely. <laughs> and the next book I have, I'm finally, finally getting to this book after a while. I was really, really putting it off and putting off buying it. But finally, I decided to pick it up because of all of the recommendations from Whitney over at Witty Novels. I'll make sure to link her channel down below. If you haven't seen her already, this is her favorite book of all time, and I'm so, so excited to read it now that I've picked it up. And that is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I'm really, really sorry if I'm pronouncing her name wrong, but I'm still really, really excited about reading this book. Um, I have read her husband, Ransom Riggs. I've read his entire um, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children trilogy, and I have wanted to read this for a while, but I was a little hesitant about picking it up. Um... This book is supposed to be about a young girl named Juliet, and she has this sort of power where her touch is deadly. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to play out in this series, but I'm really looking forward to finding out. And up next, we have Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Um, so it's not so much specifically that I'd like to read Mansfield Park this year, it's just continuing on with reading Jane, no Jane Austen's novels in general, because... I have this book, and I have Emma, and I do have the Barnes & Noble bind-up of all of her books. I have read Pride and Prejudice, and it is one of my favorite stories of all time. And I'm really, really looking forward to kind of diving back into the setting that she's created, and just that Regency era, and the pretty dresses, and just the romance in these books. And I'm so, so excited to keep reading her novels. So the next book I'm going to be talking about, I don't know too much about, but I do know that it's pretty well talked about here on booktube, and I know that it's pretty critically acclaimed currently, 
and I've been told that it's a beautiful story so I'm really excited to read it and that book is The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. Um, I'm sure you've heard a lot of people here on booktube talk about it. It is a pretty long book but I'm still really really looking forward to this author's writing style now that I've heard about it. I heard this is supposed to be like a really really kind of heart-wrenching story and just a very very nice read so hopefully I'll be able to get to this pretty soon. So the next story I'll be talking about was actually a recommendation from my grandma. She said she read it whenever she was about my age and she really, really enjoyed it. But I have been putting it off for a very, very, very long time. And you'll see exactly why once I show you what book it is. So this book is Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. And so it's supposed to be a pretty good story that has a lot of different storylines kind of tied into one. But the reason I've been avoiding this for so long is... This book is 1,200 pages. This book is huge. This, If I read this, this will be the biggest book that I've ever read. And this does not have big font. I mean, it's pretty average size font, but it's still pretty tiny. So <laughs> I'm a little hesitant about reading this, but I'm still really, really excited because a lot of people have really actually enjoyed this book. And the next book I have is actually a Christmas gift this year for one of my close friends. And that book is The Kingdom of Little Wounds by Suzanne Cockle. And I'll be completely honest and say I don't know anything about this book. But I think I'm going to keep it that way and just go into it blind and just enjoy it for what it is. And enjoy the story without having anything spoiled for me. But with that said, this book is beautiful. With these red pages, that is just gorgeous. And my favorite thing about it is whenever you take the dust jacket off and this spine, this coppery color, oh, absolutely stunning. I definitely appreciate a good cover like this. So hopefully the story inside is just as good as the outside. And next is another book that I still don't know too much about, but it is a classic and it is Middle March by George Eliot. So, as I said, I don't know too much about this book, but I do know that this is a pretty famous classic, and I'm sure it's pretty famous for a reason. I've heard a lot of good things about this, again, having many storylines and different characters kind of interconnected into the one story. I always find books like that kind of interesting, so I'm looking forward to diving into this pretty soon. And last but not least, we have All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. I have had this book for a few months now, and I'm not sure why I haven't gotten around to reading it yet. I've heard about this book all over the booktube community. I know a lot of people love it. It's supposed to be set in World War II, and I know that there's a character in here that's supposedly blind, and that's pretty much all I know about it, but I really, really enjoy historical fiction, so hopefully I'll get around to this pretty soon. So that's it, everybody, for the top 10 books that I'm hoping to get around to this year in 2016. I really, really hope you enjoyed my videos. If you'd like to check out any of my other social media links, I'll link those down below. Um, so, I guess that's it. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Bye!